So check this out here at the Junia Tech. And uh, you have a whole bunch of devices right here. Yeah. They're all ARM devices. Yeah, they're all ARM devices, definitely. We're showing some innovation here. But I will tell you a little bit about Junia Tech before, what, why we are here at the TV Connect Show 2014. Uh, we show and work with our customers here by invitation to come here because it's all about customization. Customization and the philosophy of good, reliable products. Customization because every customer needs to have their special solution in hardware and software designs. This kind of solution can be uh, a simple quad-core design we just launching already CAS and showed with you. Yeah? And there we can do 4K decoding natively playing everything around. Quad, quad, quad octa. Octa core designs, yes. So four plus four is eight. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Octa so, GPU. Yeah, we're doing real quad core solutions. And it's real 4.4 also. It's real 4.2. 4. So, so four, 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 eight. <laughs> so eight. many fours, yeah. right? So yeah. you can enforce it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. definitely so. So this is the biggest innovations, high demand on it. Yeah, because we're delivering the real quad core with the Mali 450 GPU with the high megahertz, and this is quite good quad core technology. This is the best ARM Cortex A9 on the market. Device. Actually, that's the reference design for uh, even for ARM themselves. They're showing it already at their booths and also at CS. Our designs is the reference designs. And uh, and here's some nice new uh, new shapes, new forms uh, for uh, yeah. different solutions. Yeah, actually, this is the kind of thing on the market demand. A lot of customers ask them for this. We already integrated certain kind of Chromecast technology inside of this. For sure, they all support these kind of solutions. They are all ARM-based. But this is a device with special demand for this kind of Chromecast solutions. Yeah? So you can cast with every device, with every device, to this device, which is HDMI connected to any TV. Yeah? By wireless. So it's not running Android, this one, right? Not running Android. And uh, which which is the CPU in here? It's a it's an ARM core CPU. It's oh. a, a single core. All right. Yeah. No need for more. Yeah. You just plug it in. You have a Windows PC. Just pop up, connect to it, and mirror it. Yeah. Oh. You have an Android. You have an iOS solution. Are you already selling this one? Just getting into mass production by next month, right? And this one looks really cool. Can you focus on here? So. Yeah. There's two USB hosts right here, mm -hmm. HDMI, mm -hmm. and uh, micro SD, Ethernet, and uh, mm -hmm. another HDMI. Yeah. So we have dual HDMI. Yeah, actually not dual HDMI. Actually, it's HDMI loop through. What we have here for certain kind of uh, ARM-based and AIM-Logic-based uh, setup box and OTT solutions, we put in a very small and tiny form factor. So you can make HDMI in, and HDMI out. So the idea behind that is to have an overlay of the existing box and use it for it. But does it work? It works perfectly. It works perfectly. And that's been going on for like how long now already for Geniatech? More than a year or? More than a year we're working on that part. And now really we control one box with the other one. It gives you the seamless integration of your existing installed based off setup box, our digital receiver, including IPTV solutions. But, so this runs Android on top of whatever? Is that it? Is it yeah. Android? This is Android running Android 4.2. Like, and it's an overlaid version, like overlaid UI. Yes. And transparent. Transparent, yeah. And, uh, but I guess that's very special. And so this, this UI is being improved, a whole yeah, bunch of things so are being added. Every customer, you know we are an ODM. Every customer has their own ideas. For sure, it's also for B2B, digital signage, hospitality solutions, but also for any kind of solutions you might have uh, for OTT. You know, you have an installed base of digital receivers out in the market. You don't want to replace that totally. Then this device is the right thing. You just plug it in. No need to switch on the TV between the HDMI inputs, fast and back. Just have one solution and one HDMI in at the TV. So the, the user experience is more seamlessly. It, it does RF uh, Bremer uh, also? Yeah, sure. To it change the channels on the other box? Yes. You can do that? Yes, for sure, directly. So how, how popular is this solution? I uh, just started, but it, the demand is pretty high. And um, 
it gives really a seamless experience by a universal player solution. You know, you have your playlist, like your program list, and with this playlist, you can seamlessly yeah, switch between IPTV channels and uh, uh, classical uh, DVB-T or DVB-S or DVB-C channels or digital channels, forth and back. You can have your really entertainment on demand what it's necessary to do so. And here's a, is that the D, uh, DTV? This is a DTV, yes. It's a DVB-T2 for Two. Android. Yes. So what, uh, there was a previous one that was... Yeah, we have got a previous one. We already still have it and still selling it for DVB-T1. One. one. And this is for DVB-T2. So what's the difference? Think? The big difference is DVB-T2 is gives you more uh, about, all about a certain kind of media takes and HPV TV solutions also for video on demand channels directly by terrestrial TV. There's so. video on demand over terrestrial. Yeah, definitely. In which country has this support? Uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. Is it coming to Europe? Yeah, there are some plans that's coming to Europe, definitely. To France, UK. Oh. But it needs to be a little bit bigger for that support or? No, no, no. It's, it needs to be a little bigger. As you remember, the last one was very yeah. small. Yeah. So uh, the last one is, I, I guess, could be a gigantic, uh, gigantic success. The biggest for Geniatech ever, or? Uh, sales is pretty good, so pretty fair. So we expected that high demand, but it's working quite well. It, it could, uh, like, it could be awesome for the World Cup, the football. People can add support for GTV to any Android device with uh, yeah. USB on the go. Definitely. Any you Android device. Run. Any Android device fully supported by that. You that just add a little, little dongle and yeah, you... that's it. Cool. And the application is also developed by us. Is this a new box or? This is a new box. This is more industry design we go for here. We have a detachable antenna. Yeah. So you know, certain kind of use cases and also business and ecosystem needs a certain kind of solutions. So therefore, we have analog out, we have power, and we have <coughs> 10 100 Mbit LAN and a detachable antenna. Some people need even to extend this to make this even better, yeah? And, and then on customer demand, they asked really for this, we have front access to USB on a vertical base, and it leaves enough room in, in between both of them. And the antenna is a standard one, which you can even can extend with a bigger one. It's quite good. So uh, you? what you're talking about here at this conference, for example, is that uh, you have the best ODM for uh, the set the box market. Yeah, yeah for OTT market, for OTT, over the top market. Why it's so? We, we have a certain kind of catalog of services around our devices and all our designs. This catalog encloses definitely software customization and hardware customizations. We're working with dedicated teams for our customers, always a product manager, always a project manager, and always a key accounter from the sales part who takes the responsibility of customers' uh, needs and demands. So has Geniatech always been ODM? Yes. It's always been uh, customizing for a customer what they want based yeah. on uh, kind of like reference designs, but then, uh, yeah. then exactly what they want they can get. Yeah, that was always so. That was always a company philosophy, but it comes to a, a much higher level now because doing Android customizations, integration of middleware and other DRM systems and other ecosystems needs dedicated people on the software application development side and also on the firmware side from the Android point. Not everybody wants to have the same thing as the other ones. So every customer has their own needs and demands and requirements. So you have a, a growing team of engineers, uh, optimizing specialists and uh, designer, uh, yes. hardware designer. Yeah, we have de dedicated and growing teams. We're also looking for new people. Yeah. In Shenzhen. Yeah, in Shenzhen. We need talented people to help us on the development side and also on design stages. And uh, you, you uh, work uh, extremely closely with Amlogic, so you get all the special features they have, which other SOC might not. Like, uh, I wouldn't say they, they might not get it, might be we get it earlier because we are a development partner on the highest level and highest stages. So it's not on a A level, it's on a C level, really on a ground level. We're working very close with these guys, so it's very necessary to work and this engagement. Because without that, this kind of real quad-core solution with octa-core GPU will never happen come ground. So this is not a 4K, but uh, everybody's going to get a 4K soon, and uh, yeah. 
it's, they, they can give, they could potentially give you a lot of work in, yeah. the, in the near future. Already the demand is picking up. We have customers in the US who are working uh, with supply chain management and also in the retail market to display good UHD pictures on UHD TVs. And you know what kind of players are, are powering these displays? This one. You're the one All doing Abrams. it. You're the one uh, supporting 4K. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. So thanks for the update. Thanks for the update. Good Lots of things happening. So I hear the, also the, the quad-core HDMI stick, is, uh, is this is the final one. That's the final one. We talked about our TS. Now we're in, really in mass production since this week. Pilot run is done. Yeah, and there you have definitely a full new thermal design inside. It's also based on the AM Logic S802. It also has the octa-core GPU inside and the quad-core <coughs> GPU and it runs almost perfectly. The thermal design gives you really a cool feeling with full performance with 4K decoding. Unbelievable. So what's, what's this hole here? This is actually, this is for reset. Reset? Reset okay. the factory reset. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, here is something? This is from the molding. Molding, okay. <laughs> no function. No, no function. function. Then we have power for USB, huh? but can be split off and also for external storage. Yeah. All right, so uh, you have a dual-band Wi-Fi here support. Yeah, and Bluetooth 4.0, dual-band Wi-Fi. Bluetooth LE. Yeah, Bluetooth LE. So and this can be like kind of like a base station for Bluetooth LE in the smart home. It's, it's a game station, actually, from the power and the performance. It's, 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 a, it's a game, it's a video on demand, it's the smallest OTT box in so town and a TV connect here. Yeah. Smallest OTT box and uh, what's called a uh, uh, GPU, 8 core GPU. So, this is uh, this is a Xbox and PlayStation killer in a stick. Yeah, from the because price performance see. ratio, it can kill everything what is in the market. Is it shipping? Shipping, cool.